It's fast. It's bloody. It's the most disturbingly titled game ever. Wet, yeah, I know, wet, is out for Xbox 360 and PS3 now. Has been for a while, actually. Sorry we're a little late to the party. Anyway, wet squeezes you into the frankly ridiculous genes of a girl named Ruby. She's a fixer, which basically means she goes around swearing and shooting at everyone in sight. The game's styled on 70s flicks with grainy visuals and a hard-rocking soundtrack inspired by the decade. Here we go. It promises to bring a lot to the table, but to be honest, since launch, its reception has seemed more moist than wet. Most people seem to be throwing around accusations of shallowness and imperfection, but then again at Game On, we're not most people, and I for one happen to think Wet is a decent game. I'll admit, when I first started playing Wet, I did find myself thinking, oh dear. Despite Ruby's feminine wiles, character modelling is not Wet's strongest point. In fact, in some instances, the character models are almost bordering on PS2 visuals. However, the B-movie aesthetic surrounding the game in the loading screens and film scratch effects make up for this admirably. You really feel like you are playing through a 70s B-movie as Wet throws in loads of little touches Tarantino would do well to take note of. Yes, I said it, Quentin, Death Proof was rubbish. Gameplay-wise, it's solid, frantic fun mixing Max Payne-style bullet timing with the kind of parkour skills Mirror's Edge tried to pull off. The gameplay is mostly divvied up between a few basic mechanics such as neutralising a number of spawn points before clearing a room and mini-boss battles. Wet even manages to include, and anyone who's watched my previous reviews will know it pains me to say this, some fun quick time sequences. That's right, Wet has taken my biggest gaming bugbear and managed to make it into something I don't hate with my entire being. That in itself is just impressive. So yes, a lot of people are saying Wet has a bad case of style over substance and those claims are fairly well founded, but frankly those people should just lighten up. Wet is from start to finish a wholly self-aware game. At no point does it pretend to be anything more than the stylish, bloody, quip-laden gunfest it's set out to be. The soundtrack is good, the violence is over the top and stylish to the extreme, and the game handles well enough to hold my attention. Other critics can shove it then, because I think Wet is well worth a look in, not to mention 7 out of 10. <laughs>